Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the big year. This is, the, well, the big year that came, this came out, as 2011, so it's over 10 years old, and as you can see, uh, this stars Owen Wilson, Jack Black, and Steve Martin. Uh, it's an hour and 41 minutes long, and uh, yeah, this is a, actually a 20th Century Fox uh, comedy, um, but it's also pretty much a drama based on true events, except... Uh, the part where they changed all the facts. Uh, they actually make that joke early on in the text uh, as the movie starts. So yeah, this is actually based on a real thing, um, birding, not bird watching. That they make that distinction very clearly because uh, there's a lot of people um, into this. Just it's a it's a basically a thing where people try to see the most birds in the course of a year from January 1st to December 31st, and they keep track of where they go. And there's people, you know, they travel to certain places all over the country. This is actually takes place just within North America, including Alaska and Hawaii, I guess. But uh, it it involves, a, they see all the same people. So you kind of know that if you saw a bird at a certain place and you saw your competitor, uh, who's also fighting for a big year, uh, at the same place, I'm sorry, you probably saw the same th same birds. And you can check that off on your list, and you can count them up. And, well, <clears throat> in this one, Owen Wilson plays, uh, what's his name? Bostick, Kenny Bostick. And uh, he is a guy who had the champion, he was a champion the previous year, or many previous years, yeah, like 732, something like that. Uh, a lot of birds. And he's, it's an obsessive thing to the point where he travels all over the country to see birds. When they know that uh, weather patterns change, they know, oh, well, that means certain birds will appear in certain areas in en masse, just, just tons of them, all, and a huge variety. And it's not a matter of seeing, oh, I see 5,000 pigeons or seagulls or whatever. It's literally a matter, matter of a unique type of bird. Some are so much more rare than others. Some are relatively common. Um, and if you stay to the very end <laughs> to, while you watch the credits, you too can see probably more than 700 different birds in the course of a year. Well, well, in the course of in the course of you can see more than 700 birds in the course of the credits. They just sort of slam them at you, little snapshots while you watch the credits. Now, of course, it's not seeing them in the wild, so it's a completely different thing. You do not spend your time, money, and put all of your relationships at risk to see all these birds. And that's kind of the gist of this. It, it, it follows three different guys. Bostick, who is played by Owen Wilson, as I said, and uh, we have Steve Martin, who plays Stu, and Jack Black, who plays Brad Harris. Uh, these three guys, very different guys. Uh, Owen has a has a beautiful young wife named Rosamund Pike, who he pretty much ignores uh, for his, in order to keep his title, in a sense. Uh, she keeps busy by trying to inject hormones in order to get herself pregnant, pregnant in the rare times that she gets to see him, and uh, also remaking the house. So, yeah, there's a, she's a kept woman to a certain degree uh, that is yeah, I don't know I, I don't see how anybody could ignore Rosamund Pike but still still anyway he makes uh, a pretty clear decision as to what's most important to him uh, it seems and uh, at the same time you see Steve Martin who is he's a man who owns a humongous corporation he's a he's a wealthy man he has a uh, a wife who uh, is supportive, and she actually doesn't mind him being away. Um, and she gets to spend his money while he's off in some motel trying to track down a, you know, a bird somewhere in North Carolina or Arizona or whatever else, uh, just just to get be there long enough to see a bird. It's, and again, it's it's an honor system kind of situation. Like you don't have, you don't necessarily have to take a picture of it. You don't have to necessarily see it in some cases. You have to at least hear it and go, oh, well, that's, that's a whippoorwill, whatever, you know, it's, <laughs> whip, yeah, whatever. It's that. And uh, it's, so it's all honor system. Like, I could say, oh, I saw 800 birds. I win. How does, how does that work? 
Anyway, I guess it's a honorable profession kind of thing. And, uh, well, like uh, continuing Steve Martin's story, um, Stu's story, he is, uh, he realizes he's at close to retirement age, and he's he has his subordinates at the office begging him to come in and make a final deal to help save the company or at least uh, move the company to higher profits and make it make a deal with another corporation in order to make everybody more rich uh, before he retires and he's always pulled away to Alaska here or you know Florida there just to see the birds he needs to see um, and then he gets Jack Black who plays uh, what's his name again Brad. Brad, uh, by the way, if you get a chance to go onto IMDb and check out Jack Black's IMDb picture, just type in Jack Black. He's got it, this a great picture. It's just his crazy huge beard. Um, it's just great. Anyway, Jack, uh, he's kind of the young guy in the group. Uh, he's sweet. He's kind of innocent. He's, he's not the normal, like, bombastic Jack Black that we see in so many things like, uh, you know, the School of Rock or Nacho Libre or anything, you know, Tenacious D. He's, he plays a much more um, restrained character, but he is, he seems to be our underdog hero kind of guy who he, he can hear a bird and know exactly what it is. He can hear an impression of a bird and know exactly what it is and get it right every single time. Um, he is going about this uh, despite having a full-time job, which he is neglecting, and uh, he's lost uh, his a wife. He's, he's divorced because of it, and he's also, he's like living with his parents at this point, and his father, played by Brian Dennehy, uh, just really it wants nothing to do with it. He, he is just annoyed at the fact that his son is throwing away his life going bird-watching. It's birding, Dad birding so yeah that, that, <laughs> that distinction does not mean a thing to him but it's still it's these three guys struggling with three different things i mean also going back to steve martin his his uh, son uh is married and they're about to have a kid so how does he want to spend his life his time um it's there's just a there's a lot going on with each of these guys so there's a humongous dramatic thread for each one of these characters throughout this but yet it's it's it is funny, it is humorous, but I, yeah, you know what? I realize it's more. It says it's a comedy, and yeah, it is funny. It is definitely funny, uh, but it is. And you got, there's three funny guys in it, but this is. I, I would call it more of a drama, but is, to to categorize it as a drama, just for, <laughs> I think would have scared some people away at the box office. Like, these are three comedians. Do you want to see them in a drama necessarily? Do you want to see them? I mean, I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's interesting to a certain degree. Uh, it's another kind of movie I would have... I, I thought I had seen it because I would figure these guys in it, I would have seen this movie when it came out 10 years ago. But I realized as I watched this, I, I have not seen this. If I did, I completely erased it from my mind. Um, it's a kind of movie that, yeah, um, I, I realize I would have probably, if I would seen the the synopsis it wouldn't have interested me this is almost a sports film because it's a it's a competition between three men trying to outdo each other and uh, the conflicts you know the rise between them and their home lives and everything else uh, but it, it's not exactly like super interesting so and it's not like a humongous comedy it's not big weird comedy that you expect from these three guys I mean you've seen each of these guys in uh, you know Bottle Rocket and all of all of uh, Owen Wilson's been in all of what's his face's movies Steve Martin obviously the jerk um, and of course Jack Black and everything I just mentioned earlier yeah it's it's kind of frustrating I mean yeah you, if you're expecting big body comedy no that is not what this is this is this is funny, but it's not. It's a measured comedy. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, but it, it's also kind of sad at, at points. It's it's a. Uh, 
not everything works out for everybody the way they ex you expect it to, or you want them to. Um, you want them. I mean, this is a story about you know balancing obsession, passion with responsibility, and uh, maybe that's just maybe not a humongous story that anybody is like, oh my gosh, I need to see this movie kind of concept. I don't know. Uh, by the way, regardless of all that, this is packed with so many people in it. Um, John Cleese does a quick little voiceover part from Monty Python, John Cleese. Uh, I got to go through a bunch of these other names here. Um, let's see. It said Rosamund Pike, Kevin Pollack, and Joe McHale play uh, business partners with Steve Martin. Um, Joe Beth Williams is Steve... Is... Oh, gosh, I think that's... Uh, yeah, I think it's Steve Martin's wife. Yeah. Um, we got... Oh, gosh, come on. Keep going. Oh, Diane Weist. Oh, by the way, and, and you go down far enough in this list, it kind of cuts off after a while on IMDb, and it didn't show me a lot of the names that it was... That, I was like, oh, wait, isn't that Sheldon from Big Bang Theory? Like, where did he come from? Uh, he, Jim Parsons, he's he's uh, kind of buried in this. He makes a few little small appearances. Angelica Houston is in this, in a, a role that just doesn't look like Angelica Houston. I'm just I'm used to Adam's family, Angelica Houston. Um, Rashida Jones is a pretty major part in this. I mean, she's not in most of the film, but she is a very pretty important part. Uh, and she's always great to see. Tim Blake Nelson. And there's just a lot of people in this. So if you're... If you're a celebrity watcher, if you're a character actor watcher, or a, just a, like to see movies with really packed casts who really don't use them all. I mean, these people just showed up to work, probably worked a week or two at most, and they were done. Uh, these guys, of course, are in 99% of the scenes, so it's a, it's, it's a celebrity watching film. It's an actor watching film, but beyond that, it's uh, yeah. There's not a whole lot else I can tell you. It's uh, if you want a different kind of uh, comedy drama, this might be your thing. And if you like these actors, I mean, they. It's not like they disappoint. They're not horrible in this at all. I just it's not the kind of movie where I'd be, I'm like, oh my gosh, I recommend this. You need to see the Big Year. I can't do. I can't recommend it that way. But if you like these actors and you want to see one more of their films, here you go. This is it. This is one more, and it's on Disney Plus. It would have been on whatever Fox streaming service Fox would have created had they not been bought out by Disney. But here you go. Get it all bundled in one. So, oh, let me uh, bring this up here before I forget. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. What else can I say? Birder of the Year, my big year. Uh, the funny thing about this, though, is it's kind of cutthroat with when it comes to birding. Everybody has to... Um, these Half the time, these guys don't admit that they're actually going for the big year. They're actually pretending that they're just out there for fun, just getting communing with nature, and it, it, it sort of sets them against each other in ways that they didn't expect. I mean... You, yeah, it's it's not really. Um, there's certain rules to this whole thing, and uh, yeah, they try to they try to downplay it. They try to pretend they're not doing it, and then, of course, everything comes out, and it makes it all the much more intense between them. But um, a lot of this is about the friendship between Steve Martin and uh, Jack Black, their characters, and. Uh, how they interact with Owen Wilson, who is just a, a mastermind of birding. That's a thing. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It really is. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 355. 355. Oh, overshot it. Okay. Don't know what this is. 
I think this is a new movie. I think it might even be a Disney Plus original. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll just show it to you, and you can probably tell me. Uh, 355 is Now You See It. It's not that magic movie, that, like, the sleight of hand thing with uh, all those actors. It's not that. Now You See It, dot, dot, dot. That's what we're watching next, tomorrow, on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow.